Ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment you will hear the voice of a woman who will tell you some very important facts. Welcome to the Wide Glamazon Motivation. I am your host Vivian Nord. Today, topic of motivation is happiness revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that we have come a long way since the beginning of this year 2021. We started with this process of trying to encourage one another. My job is to help you focus again on you and not spend your time looking at others. So I have motivated you for a while now. We have covered love, we have covered gratitude, and so many other topics. This time is happiness revolution. We are taking back our life because I found out that our life depends on our happiness. And our happiness depends on our life. How we live out our life in this earth planet and what happens in our life is greatly connected to how much love we have in our life and how happy we are. Many people feel that happiness is elusive. And many think that happiness is a state that can never be achieved until somebody dies. Many have hung up their bag and their garments, and they are waiting until they die, they go to heaven to be happy. So they spend their time on earth being miserable and blaming everybody for lack of happiness. Many have spent their life researching happiness and pursuing happiness. They believe that happiness is something that can be bought because they think that happiness is something that's outside of themselves. So they spend all their time working hard to accumulate wealth with hope that once they have accumulated a lot of, a lot of wealth, that they can that it will make them happy. Actually, many people think that money will make them happy. Many people believe that buying stuff or owning stuff will make them happy. Many of them on earth, they believe that sleeping with all the women or all the men on earth will make them happy. But well, I'm sorry to break your bubbles. No one outside of yourself can make you happy. You know why? Because happiness costs nothing. You know, most times we hear the old people, they say, ha, ah, the greatest things and the best things in life are free. And we look at them like, oh my God, my grandma has gone crazy. My granddad, this guy is out of his mind. Did I tell you now? They are right. They tell you all these things because they had it from their parents. They had it from their grandparents and those who had it from their great-grandparents. And it is truth. Happiness is easy to achieve. It's, it's a state of mind. You can be sad, miserable, just like that. And you can also flip the coins and become happy. I mean, what I'm saying is raving mad happy like a child, you know, just with a flip of a coin on the snap of your finger. You choose it because you are God. You are in charge of your reality. You can choose to become happy. You can choose to become sad. It's something that is in the palm of your hand. Happiness is as abundant in this life and in this air planet as fresh air, as the sun, as water, the rain. You know, that's how abundant happiness is. So, I want you to realize that we all have got it wrong. All this is, even myself, I got it wrong. I spent most of my time Trying to be happy, okay? I did many things. Everything I got, everything I did in this world was to be happy. Then at one point, I thought, like, okay, fine. If I cannot make myself happy, let me try to make other people happy. And then I went on a mission. Call it a rampage. Using everything I have, all my resources. Sometimes I use all my money. I give it to people, you know? Of course, when, I give, when you give away money, you do charity and all this stuff. It makes you have happy temporarily. And then all of a sudden you find yourself, you just plunge into that sadness again. You realize that, boom, maybe one person give you a call or the people that you donated things to or built houses or married wives or help them to have children, they suddenly start acting funny or avoiding you or fighting with you or blackmailing you. And then you realize that you have wasted your time. You know, you didn't make them happy. You did not make yourself happy. Suddenly it hits you, oh my God. I've got it wrong. So basically, this happened to me over and over until I woke up. When I woke up, I realized 
And I remembered how I used to feel, how, I used to, how happy I used to be when I was a child. I used to be very happy. As a teen and as a teenager, as a young woman, and at the early stage of my life, when I got newly married, I was so happy, you know. But after a while, after becoming a mother, and also, also after becoming, you know, successful in business, building companies, I lost that free happiness that I used to, the free vibe. I started looking for it. It just disappeared. I realized one day, I woke up one day and I realized that my happiness was gone. So I felt that I was going to find it outside. I kept digging. I couldn't find it. Then I felt, okay, fine. Since I cannot locate it, now let me try to make other people happy. Man, I felt woefully. You know, I felt it was an epic fail. Then I wanted to give up in life. You know, I felt like killing myself. I felt worthless, you know, for many years until I woke up. And then I realized that happiness is not elusive. Happiness is not hiding. Happiness, you don't need to buy it. Happiness, you don't lose it. It's always there inside you. Until you tell yourself, oh my God, I'm sad. I'm no longer happy. I've lost my happiness. From the moment you feed yourself with that negative diet, automatically you manifest it. I didn't realize that we are God of our life, the God of our reality, God of our existence. I didn't realize that we are co-creators and God, and one with God. So what it means is that being one with God, we are the one creating our own reality. 24 hours, 365 days a year, we are busy every second creating it. So if you suddenly panic and say, ooh, I've lost my mojo, automatically you lose your mojo. If you say, whoa, I am sad and I'm miserable, automatically it becomes your reality. When you start to think of it, before you know it, it will harden into fat. And this is what happened to me for many years. I lost, I, I, I fed myself a diet of being miserable, a diet of, you know, that I'm not good enough. You know, I need to go find my happiness. I've lost it to the point that I started trying to make other happy other people happy so that I can watch them being happy and appreciate me to make myself happy. Man, it turned out so ugly than even myself losing my happiness mojo. So now I turned into myself. And thanks to COVID-19 lockdown, I found myself. I found myself and I realized that I don't need anything to be happy. I don't need anyone to be happy. I don't need all the money I'm chasing or ideas, my clothes. Listen, I spend my time, you know, if you hear about all these other people or celebrities or motivators who spent their time in one cloth or in one pajamas or whatever during the lockdown, I was one of them, you know. I became like uh, like, um, the, the owner of Facebook and all these guys who end up wearing one style of clothes or one piece of clothing through their creativity period. You know, I had my Eureka, Eureka moment. I was so engrossed. I was so into myself that I forgot about fashion, you know. So I wore one cloth. In my case, I did not wear pajama or whatever. What I wore is a dress. I did my daily walks in that dress. I did my gardening in that dress. I did my cooking in that dress. I wash it every day before I go to bed. Sometimes I wash it two times, three times in a day. If I sweat, I wash it, and then I wear it again. I mean, in my neighborhood, I'm sure everybody knows me with that dress. That's what I wore. For the duration of the period of COVID, I wore one cloth, and I became so busy and so creative. You know, I manifested so much. I became happy. I found myself. You know, I didn't have to look onto anybody, and I stopped blaming people. I stopped, you know, so anyway, everybody believed that the world was coming to an end, and most people believed that they were going to die. At one point, my business associates in China and all over the world, all of them felt, even the ones in Africa, my relatives, all my, uh, all my relatives in Europe, they, they felt that the U.S. was going down, or that everybody in the U.S. Has, have COVID, and that we are all, our hospitals are full, all kinds of crazy things. You know, everybody felt that the world was, was not going to survive. What happened? So I didn't have a choice. All I had to do was just turn inside myself. It's either I let myself be destroyed by feeding myself this 
believe that ooh, we are gonna, all going to die. And I knew how powerful my mind is. So if I convince myself that we are dead or the earth have come to an end, it will happen. So I had come into my power and I decided, no, I'm not going to accept this. I'm not going to just feed myself this diet because maybe, who knows, if I manifest this, the world will evaporate. So I decided to transmute my power into creativity. And I'm grateful for what I have achieved. So what I'm saying is this. The happiness is something that you find from within you. The simple things in life should make you happy. Happiness is a state of mind, yes. But it's a state that you should achieve for no reason at all. You don't need any money. You don't need any friend. You don't need any relative. You don't need to do the charities in the world to be happy. If you do charity, do it because it makes you, that you, you just want to do it. Not because you want it to make you happy. Do it because you are happy to do it. You're happy already and you come and do it and you walk away. If you want to help people, help them. Not because you expect those people to turn and say thank you and praise you and uh, decorate you, you know, for helping them. No. Do it because it makes you already happy and it makes you happy to give and help. Not because it's going to buy you happiness. Because if you're doing that, you're wasting your time. You're going to be shocked. So if you want to be happy, it's very easy and simple. Okay? It is free as air. Just like breathing. You just have to breathe. Remember to breathe. So it's the same thing with happiness. Remember to be happy. When we were children, when we were in our mother's womb, from time to time, we kick our leg and we smile. How many Rolls Royces did you have inside the womb? How many Rolls Royces did you have as a child? How many buildings? How many estates? How many businesses? How many companies? How many boyfriends do you have? How many children do you have? How many clothes, shoes, bags, makeup? How many cosmetics do you have? Eh? How many food do you have in your fridge? What is your bank account or what? But you were happy. Okay? So what it shows is that we are born with it. It's so a natural gift. It's a divine right to be happy. Happiness costs you nothing. You don't need to go around chasing happiness because I have gone through it. That's why I'm telling you that we have all got it wrong. When you hear Jesus Christ saying that we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God, it doesn't just mean physical sin. What it means is that we have sinned literally not to be happy, not to allow ourselves to be happy, to make ourselves happy, not to remember that it is in our hand as God of our world to make ourselves happy, to allow ourselves happy, to be this happiness. Our reason the earth in this world, in this life, is to find true happiness. And that true happiness is something that should happen to you simultaneously, spontaneously. It is something that you just become happy for. No reason, no reason. Suddenly you smile. You catch your wings of roses. I have many roses in my garden, by the way. And suddenly you smile. You know, just for the smile. You remember how, you know, alive you are, you know, and many people are dying. You just smile and be blissfully happy. You remember that you have two hands to cook, you know, to clean your house. Because COVID-19 made it impossible for you to hire a housekeeper or a maid or people that will come in and just clean up for you from time to time. Suddenly you see yourself splashed and plunged into chaos of doing your, your daily task. And you feel bad. And you feel, oh, I used to be Lord and Master. This situation has made it difficult for me to have people in my house. So I have to manage on my own. You know, that sadness and sorrow, you forget about it. But you say, okay, fine. I cannot have somebody come to help me to fix things or to clean my house. But I have two hands. To clean up the house, to cook, to shop. And you'll be grateful for that. And 
suddenly you're flooded with this blissful happiness. You remember that there are so many people who want to be in your shoes, but they don't have that opportunity, and you're happy. You just be happy that you have legs. You sit down on the floor, and you'll be happy that you have your butt to sit down on the floor. You're not going to be saying, oh, I don't have a chair. That's why I'm sitting on the floor. You don't think about it. You look at your house, you have so many chairs, yet you choose to sit in lotus form position and you choose the floor. You have mats, but you don't want to go look, take the mat. You don't want, it's too far away. It's going to take years, time, minutes, hours to go find it. So you decide to sit on the floor, just trying to sit, and you're happy. You go outside and you catch the sun. Oh my God. You decide to sit and take a good book and read. And you're grateful and you're happy. You know, you test food or fruit, or whatever. It makes you happy. Well, then from time to time, when you're taking a walk, you remember. You remember when. And you're happy. Happiness is something. It's always there. It's our divine right. But it's not out there. It is within, not with that. It's inside us. It is in our hand to make ourselves happy. So what I'm saying is this. That happiness revolution is a revolution of you. Happiness, not their happiness, not the happiness that you have to go out chasing. It is to remind you that you are God. And as God, you have it within you. You have the happiness already inside you. And the only way to overcome everything that we know and everything that we have been taught about how to find true happiness, because there's actually people who are making a profession out of how to be happy. And they make you pay so much money to go somewhere so that you can be happy. And when you come back, you press your calculator, you become so mad. So it defeats the purpose, you know. So this revolution is not to stop you from going out there to have fun, to make yourself happy. But to remind you that you can be happy for no reason whatsoever. That is free and it's very cheap. It's abundant. All you have to do is to remember that you are God, and happiness is already inside you, and you can make a difference in your life. For, by choosing and making decisions to become happy today, you go within you, and you learn again, like a child, to be happy, to smile, to appreciate, and be grateful, for no reason whatsoever. Just thank God. Just thank yourself. Just thank everyone. Thank the universe. Be happy for being alive. Be grateful and happy for all that you have. Remember to be happy for tomorrow. Remember also to be happy for the past. Listen, every trauma and difficulty and hardship that you have gone through, do not be sad or angry. Okay? They don't destroy you. They make you stronger. Everything. That's what my husband told me. He says, Vivian, everything that does not kill you makes you stronger. I believed him. I believed it. I drank it. You know? And... Since then, it changed my life. Whenever I meet difficult situation, I remind, them, I remind myself and say, my husband told me that everything that does not kill you makes you stronger. So automatically, I catch myself and I try to be happy. Now that I have found this true happiness, what I do is be happy for just being happy. It's like being famous for just being famous. In this world, there's so many people who are famous for being famous. The same thing to being happy. You can be happy for just being happy. You don't have to have a reason. You don't have to break the bank to be happy. You don't have to kill anyone to be happy. Because happiness is your divine right. And happiness is natural. Happiness is like air. It's free and it's abundant. You are not looking for it. And then when you bring out this happiness from within you, because it's infectious, it will spread out. You share it with the world. You circulate it. You are not giving it away. Rather, see it that you are circulating it. As you circulate it to everybody else, automatically it will go like a boomerang and it will go all around circulating to everyone and it will now circulate back to you and you will be truly happy. Do not allow anybody to discourage you. Don't allow anybody to tell you, oh, you, are, you look like a raving lunatic. Look at you, your eyes, you look like a child. Why are you behaving? Why are you so happy? Something is wrong. Is something wrong? Because that's the questions they ask when they see somebody that is, you know, happy for nothing. They say, man, why are you so happy? Nobody can be that happy in this world. Who told him that nobody can be happy in this world? Children are happy for no reason. 
They're happy 24 hours. Nobody calls them lunatic. Why should an adult not be as happy as a child? It is about divine right. Now that you know this truth, I want you to go back inside yourself. Find your inner child. Find your happiness. You did not go anywhere. Your happiness did not go anywhere. Nobody took it away. <clears throat> it has always been with you. And it has always been inside you. So what you do, just try to sit on your own, facing the sun, and calm yourself down. Go into a meditative state or pray. Prayer and meditation is the same thing anyway. So, but the difference is that most people pray and make noise. Some people pray quietly. The meditation, most of the meditation are done very quietly. Some people also make noise when they do meditation, but the best is the one you do quietly. Just stay quietly and say to yourself, I deserve to be happy. And I decide today, as I'm facing the sun and the sun is my witness, I have decided to become happy today for no reason. It is my divine right. And I call up my inner child to become happy. And I apologize to my inner child. I'm sorry. Please forgive me all these years for looking out, chasing happiness outside of myself and forgetting that happiness has always been within me. I love you. Thank you. And I promise you from today, I will be happy. And I will encourage you and influence you to be happy. I will be grateful and thankful. And I'll be happy for all that I have. Every circumstances that will come my way, I will become happy. I will see it as a good thing and accept it as a good thing. And I will allow those circumstances to make me happy. I choose to be happy today. I take back all my power. My power of happiness. My power to be successful. My power of God. My Godhood. I take it back today. And I become happy immediately. When you say this word, all these words, Facing the sun, automatically your life will be transformed. And when you wake up, when you stand up, whether you're closing your eyes or your eyes are open, stand up believing and knowing that you have come into your power, that you have become happy, and accept it, and start acting happy. It doesn't matter if somebody comes up and slaps you on the face immediately after you finish saying that thing. Don't let it bother you. Either you slap them back, or you ignore them, but stay in that your happy state. You, whichever you choose, to slap them back or to ignore them, do it happily and joyfully. Smile or laugh. And remember, why you are practicing this, your happy for nothing state of mind and revolution, remember to laugh. Remember to smile. Remember to make other people laugh. Remember to make other people smile. Remember to make other people to be happy. Remember to share this, spread it, circulate it. Teach others. Encourage them to be happy for no reason. And once you are truly happy and people around you are happy, all of you will become unstoppable. Whatever you want, whatever you're doing becomes successful. Everything that you have ever wanted will become yours. Because happiness is the key that opens all doors. I call it the key to anywhere door. I, I, I mean it literally. If you're happy, you will be healthy. If you're happy, you become successful. If you're happy, you will sleep very well. If you're happy, you can create heaven on earth. If you're happy, you will lose fear. You know the fear that holds people back will no longer hold you. If you're happy, you look more attractive. If you're happy, you become younger. If you're happy, everyone around you. And everything around you, even the trees, if you have animals, the dogs, automatically become happy. If you're happy, your marriage, your relationship, if you're looking for love, it will manifest fast. You're looking for money, money will manifest. If you're happy, like, happy you can go anywhere and you can be anything that you want to be. You can achieve anything. So I thank you so much for taking your time to listen to me and to believe that this truth that I have shared with you today is true. And for you, making a conscious decision to become happy immediately for no reason. And circulating this happiness with everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.